Hi folks, Tyler Capozzi here with a tutorial on how to remove flicker from slow motion footage. So here I've got a money shot from Mary Elizabeth and Stephen's wedding. You can see that full video here. If you look, you'll see that the footage has flicker in it. So as I go through frame by frame, it's flashing on and off. This is more than likely a light coming from the DJ booth. So if you look at Melody's arm right here, we've got a light frame, a dark frame, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And when played back at full speed, that can become very unflattering. So how do we get rid of that? Well, it's very easy. All we're going to do is copy the clip, paste the clip. We don't need the audio, so that can be deleted. And then simply layer it on top of the original. Now, the trick is to simply offset the top one by one frame. You can offset it either forward or backward, it doesn't matter. So I went forward one frame, you can see plus 01. So that tells us we are offset by one frame. We'll trim the edges so it lines back up. And then all you have to do is change the composite mode of the top layer to darken. And notice that it makes the background just a touch darker, but in general our exposure isn't changing. So let's go ahead and render that out. So now as I go back through frame by frame, you'll see that the flicker is now gone. So there is no flicker in our image. The key light that I'm using here is a flow light micro beam, which is rated as flicker free. That's what's shining on Mary Elizabeth and Steven, so that's why there's no flicker on them. But it in effect removes all the flicker from that background lighting. Now the other option for doing this is simply going into your motion tab. First let me remove that composite mode and go back to normal. So you'll double click on your clip, go to motion, and then change your opacity to 50%. This process remains the same for whether you're using Final Cut or Premiere Pro. So now as I go back through frame by frame, you'll see we are again flicker free. The flicker is caused because the flicker rate of the light is lower than the refresh rate of the camera sensor. So that's when you get flicker. You'll notice it a lot with um, fluorescent lighting. But again, it's good to have some flicker-free lighting in your arsenal like this flow light micro beam. I use that a lot and I recommend it. The way that this is working is our top layer that's offset by one frame. Let's say our bottom frame is light, now our top frame is dark. So in effect, there is a light frame on bottom and a dark frame on top. Then there's a light frame on top and a dark frame on bottom. So those are basically canceling one another out because they're now offset. So that's how that works. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep it in your arsenal. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.